The story tells us that there's two ways to be alienated from the Father, two ways to be your own Savior and Lord. One is by being very, very bad and breaking all the rules, and the other is by being very, very good, obeying all the rules, doing the Father's will in such a way that you believe God owes you a good life, owes it to you to take you to heaven. And these are people who are actually not letting Jesus be their Savior. They're being their own Savior. And yet they're in church. And they're very active in church. So right alongside of gospel-believing Christians, you've got a lot of religious elder brothers. And we need to pull a veil off of that, expose this trend, and uh, address it. In my talk at the Leadership Summit, first I'm going to recap the basic insights of the book, The Prodigal God. But then I'm going to move on, and I'm going to first of all tell you how you can take those insights, bring them into your own life, and really see change in character, change in your, the way in which your soul works. Secondly, I want to be able to show you in that, in that talk how you could take a group of leaders through the material, how you would help them work it through so that your own church leaders are renewed in their vision and in their relationships with each other and with God. But lastly, I, I would like to give some ideas on how you could take this material out into your entire church so that, um, by God's grace, there might be renewal and even revival in the whole congregation.